Welcome back to Empire Total War, it's the Wallachia campaign and I'm up to video, I don't know, 30, 31, something like that. Really not too sure. Thanks for the warning, by the way, um, about the Dardanelles. Um, is that exactly the Dardanelles there? I didn't realise that little bit there was the Dardanelles. Dardanelles. It's probably because they don't seem to jut out as much as the Dardanelles that I expect, but... Anyway, okay, it's in the Dardanelles. Um, let, let's imagine that it is. Well, no, let's agree that it is, I should say. So, uh, anyway, thanks very much, Beefass, for that warning. That was a brilliant one. Um, because I need to do something about that, really. Um, does Sweden have uh, Moscow? Um, so Gilead um, asked me. And yes, they do. You can see it up there. They have Moscow. Oh, where it is now. There it is. Okay, so, yeah, they do have Moscow. Pretty weird, hey? And, um, somebody else, oh yeah, by the way, um, Sir Derp of Calimat, Cal Camelot, isn't it, that's right, yeah, um, I've written all these down, by the way, just to remind myself, because I can't remember all the comments that come in, I think, oh no, I'm ignoring them every time, um, uh, Racine has suggested, is it Racine? Racine suggested that I drive the Marathas all the way back to Iraq, which I presume by that, I presume he means the capital of Iraq in this game, which is going to be, I'm looking for it now, where is it? Uh, Baghdad, there we go, yeah. So I presume all the way back to there, maybe he's talking about cutting across this area here, I'm really not too sure. That seems a lot easier to defend, doesn't it? Somebody in there, and then perhaps a fort in there, and book jobs over, isn't it? So, But there's a lot of territories to take before I get to that. And the other suggestion was to give some of this to Russia, which I think is probably a pretty good idea, and one that I might go for. Um, the number one there, um, I suggested the Greek overhaul mod with all sorts of different troops. I like the sound of that. Um, difficult position to start in. Perhaps not as difficult as the one I started this one in, to be honest with you, you know, with no ports originally, and oh dear, a yeah, nightmare start it was. Um, and Boniek has threatened me. Yeah, it's, it's a, a serious threat. Um, he said that, well, I suspect what he actually meant was that the workers all, all lay down their tools. But what he said is, if I don't build roads in uh, Moldavia, then um, th he's going to bring in trade unions. So, uh, I mean, th okay, okay, I give up. Yep, okay, uh, I give in. If you're all going to go on strike, then poof, yep, I'm, I'm going to build roads. <laughs> I don't know, actually, if roads create happiness or not. I don't think they do. They'll improve wealth, of course, which is good, isn't it? Um, campaign movement speed. I think, the re to be fair to myself, actually, Bonnie Egg, um, the reason why I didn't do it was because I, I saw no reason to speed movement up this way and that. Um, I, I, you know, sort of no remit for that. But anyway, thanks so much. I mean, that's that's three minutes. <laughs> I'm just going through all those. There were loads and loads more, of course. But um, if they didn't say anything that was particularly useful or didn't ask a direct question, then um, unless I've actually answered it on the comments, um, then um, I thought I'd go through them all on here. So, right, okay. Well, let's get down to work. In uh, Ankara, I want to. Um, Recruit, but I just want to check what I've recruited already. Uh, hmm. Right, I think I've already recruited what I wanted to recruit in the first place. So, in other words, I've got written down on my little bit of paper here to get another howitzer in there, but I think I've got all the howitzers I need, really. I've got two in there. I, I think that's enough. I don't think I need any more of those. Right, okay, um, I was thinking on the last video, if you remember, about what to do about these. Um, I, I'm finding it hard to work out where the enemy can get through here, because it's all blanked out to me here, because I'm um, a friend of this country, so I can't enter them. So what I've decided to do is click this, and that should tell me which parts I can go through. Th it looks like I can go through there, but I can't. It's to go round there, isn't it, really? But if I just sort of go up here, you'll see... I think he can't get across there anyway, but that's not the point really. The point is this part here. It looks to me as though if that area there is blocked as well as that area there, it's a bit tricky, isn't it? But basically what I need to do is somehow cover this area here so no one can get through. 
and it's not easy because you can see these cover this area here he covers up to there but he doesn't include this area here in short I don't think there is a way that I'm going to be able to cover the whole of this area between there and there I just don't think it's going to be possible for me um, and also block this area across here they're too far apart so but let's say not not so but I prefer the idea of armies marching through the middle of here I don't like it either way than going that way if they go through here they can go right into the middle of this area here and I don't want that to happen really um, I, I want to trap them between these two areas so I can attack them from both sides so the net result of all of that consideration is that I want to be able to um, defend here so instead of move further down like I was talking about before you see that now I think we cover I uh, see you can get through there he can't get through there does he cover it almost it looks to me as though he's almost a little bit further over to say there now he hasn't got the movement, but I think he's just got the coverage there to prevent anybody getting through that area there, because it all looks red, doesn't it, through there. I don't think... I wonder if I need to move just a little bit further over. Right, well now I've definitely got it covered, haven't I? Because I can see it's all this area here. Um, and in fact, I don't know, can I come back a little bit? I think that's still got it covered. Okay, you know, if I join these up to there. Right. Now, the other thing I want to do, to make sure this is nice and strong and useful, is to give them a general and build a fort. Oh, great. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to build a fort there, you know, because sometimes there's terrain. You see that river there as well, and sometimes it makes it difficult. Now, it looks like I'm covering this area here up to these trees. Where does this cover? just there so you can see a gap can't you so between there and there just there there's a gap that the enemy can get through I'm afraid I just cannot do anything about that I just can't they're gonna go through and that's it so <laughs> full stop but at least I've, I've made that one safe um, because nobody can directly attack him now people can come around and attack me I've been looking at this as well they can come all the way around here around this river sort of area here over that bridge and round here. It's a very long way round. Uh, actually, they can't even get through there. They have to go somewhere around here somewhere. I, don't know. I'm not, I think they can get through that bit. I'm not too sure. Ah, oh, you can see it there, can't you? Yeah, he can go around there, all the way around there, but it's really, really going to delay him. I don't think he's going to want to do that, really. So, I, I, Okay, anyway, that, that took me a long time to go through all of that, basically because I wasn't sure what I was doing in the first place. Um, do I need to replenish any of these? Yes I do. I need to replenish quite a few of them actually. Uh, okay, those there. And any in here? No, they're full aren't they? So I'm okay there. Uh, these obviously not. Um, actually I could do with him perhaps moving to there and then move them on to there afterwards but because they're full there anyway aren't they? So I, I'm going to cancel his move for now and then make a decision. That's just hitting the um, the backspace, by the way, for anybody that wants to ask me that question. Um, uh, these are the horse that are on the way. Um, right, now... The other option for me was to attack the Marathas there from this fort. Well, I've decided not to do it. And I know it's risking him you know, attacking these areas, but I can always repair these. If he comes past me, then I'll go for it. But I suspect he won't do. I suspect he'll be more concerned about defending this area here. I don't know, but I suspect that's the case, like I say. So, Okay. Now, over in Ankara, I'm going to recruit four infantry. One, two, three, four. Um, because, basically, I haven't got my um, um, mortars yet. Um, and over here, I'm going to swap my ships around. Some of my ships are um, in need, I think, of replenishment. That's only 10, so I'm not bothered. Um, him? 
129, him 43. I might just put those two in then, for now. Yeah, pretty much okay, aren't they? Right, okay, so it's just the um, fourth rate and the second rate. I'm going to move into there. Uh, bring all of these out. Okay. And it was that one, wasn't it? Yep. And then the fourth rate. Okay, and put those into there. And I'm going to replenish those. I'm just going to keep an eye on the Dardanelles ship for now. I'm not actually going to do anything about it. I'm a little worried about this guy here and what he's doing there. So I'm going to stay quite close to here. He's got a couple of fourth rates in there. He's got some other ships as well in there. So um, I don't know anyway, but I'd, I'd like to take the money from there. And there's bound to be somebody screaming at me, you're not pirating the trade route anymore since you've gone to war with Italy. So go and do it, you fool. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm kind of hoping the Russians are going to go for this guy because it's just one sixth rate. And I've no idea why or what's going on there, but I, I might just raise another ship to go and fight that one. Um, it might not be such a bad idea to have um, some more ships in my fleets anyway. So, Right, OK. Um, I think that's it. 375 left. I haven't got anything else anyway, have I? So, do you know, I almost did a, a Boris Johnson and a butter like that. <laughs> but, uh, you know what he's like, don't you? <laughs> I love him to bits, by the way. He's a real character, so... Uh, um, it's just the British way, isn't it, to um, uh, have a laugh. OK, right, let's go for it. Um, somebody said something about that the other day, actually. Um, a northern English person. It was Paul Morley, is it? From Was it the Sex Pistols or somebody? He comes from Redditch. Um, I, I come from Stockport as well. Well, Hazel Grove, Stockport. And, um, he comes from an area. He's talking about all the, all the roads and things that I know so well. But anyway, he comes from the same area um, as me. And he was talking about Victoria Wood. And um, Victoria Wood, in case anybody doesn't know about this, she's a brilliant female comedian. Oh, look, the Turks have done it. Oh, fantastic. Of course. It never occurred to me about the Turks. Ah, ha. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad I didn't waste any ships going chasing them then. Um, anyway, Victoria Wood, yeah, uh, she's very, very successful. But um, uh, he said that Victoria, once, uh, Victoria Wood had once said to him that you're a success in the North if they say you're not bad. If you do a show and they say, well, she's not bad, then you've been a great success. Oh, no, that's not fair. How on earth did he get through there? That's ridiculous. Did you see that? I'm sure I covered the whole of that. That is such a shame. I was so certain I'd covered that. Oh, it's so hard to judge it, isn't it? Okay, enemy raid. Uh, bloody blah. Where's that one? Oh, all that effort that I went to to make sure that happened as well. This should be quite cheap, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just 170. I'm going to pay for that. Oh, that is so damned annoying, isn't it? And it's just one of those, and I've got all those in support, bound to have. I've got these who can go and join them as well. And I've got all that infantry coming in from there as well. Crikey. Loads and loads. He's going to get absolutely murdered, there's no doubt about it. Oh, they can't reach. Aha. Uh, not so smug now, hey? Talking about myself there, by the way. Okay, bring those over. Right. Can he move a little bit further? Do you know he can't actually? I thought he'd have been able to... It's interesting, isn't it? Oh, it's actually those that can go further, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, well... I'm not going to get them to go... And actually, what I should do, really, is take out, say, a Dragoon unit from here and attack them. And then these can come on as supports in the attack, can't they? probably the case. In fact, they're going to come on anyway. Oh, it's just ridiculous. It's a joke, this. Um, okay, him moving up to there. So we'll have him to there for now. Yep. Bring the infantry from here up to there to possibly join them. Oh, not quite. Ha. Oh, well, okay. Uh, seriously don't see any point in... Um, going in there really with with that one actually if I attack from there with those 
I can then move on to there afterwards, can't I? Um, the better plan really would be to bring just take dragoons up there, because I can move dragoons there and back, can't I? I think that's going to be the best way. If I just move a unit of dragoons up there, uh, I might I, actually I'll take the general up there as well because that will, oh I don't know, it'll um, give him a bit of experience, won't it? I suppose. Okay, let's see what comes on. If the infantry come on and that's all, and nobody from the fort comes on, then it's not really a big deal for me. Oh, look at all that. Wow. <laughs> He's going to get murdered, isn't he? Okay, well, I'm just going to go and do this, um, and then I'll come back and show you the results. I'm sure there was something I was talking about when all that happened, but never mind. Back in a second, folks. Well, I somehow managed to get a heroic victory out of that, would you believe? Uh, quick look at what happened. It was really only the guns that killed anybody. Actually, it doesn't show too badly, does it? And then the um, horse, I gave them a bit of experience. Their new horse. So basically it was the guns giving them some target practice and the horse just giving them a little bit of experience there. Um, and that's all it was. It was dead simple, really. Not this horse, by the way. They're just dra the dragoons, aren't they? Do you know, I was thinking, when they only had about 30 men left, and they were all huddled against a wall. At first I was thinking about them sort of convincing one another, oh, you know, if we hang on a little bit longer, reinforcements are bound to come on and come on. And then, as the game went on and on and on and on, you know, it's taking more than an hour for me to get rid of them all. Let's just move these in here, by the way. Um, when it was all taking all that time, I sort of then imagined one of them whispering, and I know this is ridiculous, by the way, don't get me wrong, but I sort of imagined one whispering to another and saying, listen, he's falling asleep at his computer. All right, he's getting bored. If he falls asleep, the screensaver will come on. When the screensaver comes on, the game might crash and we'll all be saved. <laughs> oh dear, anyway. There you go. Um, trait gain. That's how my imagination works, isn't it? When um, I've been here a while. Enemy raid. Which one was that? That was that one in the corner, wasn't it? Did I repair that one? I did, didn't I? Such a long time ago, I've forgotten. That's my excuse before anybody says, come on, you only did it seconds ago. Okay, Anatolia. Now, these. I've moved them. Yes, I have. I think I might need more. Do I get more? Oh yes! Aha! I can get mortars now. One, two, three, four mortars. Fantastic. I just don't know. Maybe I should get this now. Oh dear, it's 3,000. All it does is get me light dragoons and a general's bodyguard. Oh, I don't want it. It's, I just do not want it. That's the problem. Recruitment report. Du -du 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 we know about that. I just want the mortars. Thank you very much. Technological advance. Measuring tools. Next, I'm getting puddling furnace. Right, yes, thank you. We know about that. And du -du enemy raid. Yeah, we know about that one as well. Well, presume, unless there's another one. Uh, okay, good. Um, right, puddling furnace, wasn't it? Do I want that? Or do I want something else? Let's have a look. Over here, I can get Light Infantry Doctrine. Do I want it? Not really. Don't really need it. It's nice to have somebody, something that can outrange other people. Hey, look! The Cadence Marching is going to be ready just on time for the mortars coming out. Oh, great! Um, oh, I don't know. What do I go for with this? Do I go for the puddling furnace? This one is eight, actually. It's a long way off, isn't it? Recruitment cost for artillery. Ah, it's not such a bad thing. Oh, could have done it. Oh, <laughs> could have done with it now, really. Generated by metalworking buildings. That's an improvement there. And I think I'd rather like division... You know, our joint stock companies, actually. And that's eight. Minus one, though. Clam for reform. Um, plus four, town wealth in the region. Plus four, wealth generated by all buildings. It's a good one, you know. Enhances national, national prestige. Allows commercial basing. I'm tempted to go for that. I'm going to go to go for it, yeah. Um, okay. Um, I think that's about it, really. Okay, now, um, what are we up to? Less than 20 minutes of your time. <laughs> Significantly more of mine, of course. Uh, do I get anybody else? Now, it's going to take a turn be nice to have a little bit more horse just to defend these guns when the time comes. Do I get them now? Uh, okay, let's get two more horse. Hopefully this infrastructure will be... Oh look, I can get that as well. I'm going to get that then. Four turns away. I think I might need that, you know. And that's really going to help, isn't it, with trade and all sorts of things. Look, I've got, I've got trade through here naught on there. It's not good. Um, but 
income. That's basic income, nearly 2,000. That's really good. I had no idea. That must be one of my best places. I really had no idea that was that good. Um, income. What's the top place? Look at that. It is. That's the richest of all my areas. Ah. I really had no idea. Um, Austria is... Is that 5,844? I think it probably is, isn't it? Um, this one's just over 6,000. That one's... I think that's 3,800, you know. Uh, three, three, let's go and have a look at it. It's, uh, 5,000. Yeah, it's close. Okay, so, six, five, five, uh, 3,600 is Romelia. Wow. Anyway, get a chance to have a quick look at these, just to, just to make sure that nobody's on red. Uh, and, ah, the other thing, ships. Make sure the ships... Oh dear, do you know, I'm going to get another threat from the trade unions now, aren't I? I must make sure I get that tarred road in Moldavia as well. Uh, right, okay, well, I'll put these ships in there as well. Only one turn away from having the new trade sorted out. Good, and they're all pirating. Excellent. Uh, next turn, I'll get myself... Uh, I don't know why. I can hardly read it. 6,749, I think it is. I don't know if it's a 6 or an 8. I think it's, it must be 6, must not it? Nearly 7,000 next turn. Right. Next question is... No, it isn't. I was going to say, actually, my next question is, is was going to be... Um, where did that ship come from? <laughs> that um, Maratha ship. Oh, I can't see any ports whatsoever. I'm not having a proper look, I'm just having a scan, aren't I? But I can't see anything. I really can't. So, I'm not going to take precautions. I want my mortars in position, really. Then I can go and bomb his um, his city while he's still got troops all bottled up in it, really. Um, as for these, do I go for these? It's very tempting, isn't it? Just to shoot him from a distance, because he's just got... He's, oh, mind you, his artillery will outrange me, won't they? But he is... Um, uh, entrenched, which means that I will be able to attack him from the side. He'll be sort of stuck in one position. Anyway, look, I've spent nearly everything. 1,348. I think that's all that I want to be spending for about now. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Crikey. I thought he moved ages ago. I really did. Uh, 641. Do you remember that's that unit that I recruited by mistake in there? Um, it's, it's not the first time I've done something like that, is it? Uh, it's a good job I'm not designing aircraft and things, isn't it, really? Oh, damn, I managed to put the feather extractor in there. I, no, I put the feather duster in instead of the torpedo. Oops. <laughs> right. Um, that's actually fishing. Ah, now. I had the idea that was a trading, but that's why I haven't got trade coming through there. So maybe it's this one that's trade. And of course... Yeah, OK. Anyway, I, I don't need to worry about it. I don't suppose it can come through that area anyway, really, the trade. I wouldn't have thought so. I wonder if I can get peace with the Italians and make some trade out of them. I don't really want war with them, do I? Mind you, I do, actually, because I want to steal from their trade route, don't I? Which is really, really handy. They should come to me. That's the thing. They should come to me for, um, uh, for peace. But I'm just a bit worried about those French hanging around. What are they there for? Are they trading with the Italian state? They are. I think they've gone there to clear me away from the trade route because I'm affecting their trade. They're ragged. They've got 11 ships. I've also got 11, and I've got second rates. So I don't fancy his chances much. In fact, oh, look. I could get an Admiral soon. I could have probably got one if I hadn't got that road. Maybe that's something for the future, um, for next time to consider. Uh, but for now, let's see what he does with these troops here. I'm just, like I said, I'm just waiting for my mortars to get into position. Might be an idea, actually, to build up a bit of experience with this guy. He's supposed to be attacking him, but he's no longer in my ter... Oh, actually, I I'm not interested in him anyway, really. Um, let's... I don't know, what's that one? I don't know what a great Akram is. Ah! 
does it give happiness? Ah, it gives happiness to the Hindu population. Well, let's give him some unhappiness then. Sabotage. 45%, that's good. Oh, great. Not good enough though. Right, uh, I've got another agent somewhere. I'm going to leave him there actually. I want him to keep an eye on what's happening around there, really. Yeah, okay, what a shame about that. Because I'm not even sure if this one is being taxed. Oh, it is now being taxed. But it's on 9, and minus 4 would be pretty good on that 9, wouldn't it? Mind you, the resistance is coming down. So anyway, oh, I'm talking too long. Let's go for it, I think. Anything else I need to check? No other ships in the Dardanelles. Okay, let's go for it then. Yep. Okay. The only downside to creating four mortars in Ankara there is that um, if any more troops sneak through like they did last time, the only troops I'm going to have coming down um, towards my forts are going to be the mortars. Um, and of course, mortars can't come on as reinforcements. They can attack. But I wouldn't like to go into an attack with them and bring on reinforcements that might take a while to get there. Oh, by the way, um, in that last battle, I got um, the choice to arrange my reinforcements. You know the little arrows that come on above all your reinforcements? So you can decide which group of reinforcements are going to come on first. You can't decide which unit within an army is going to come on first, not unless you do some rejigging before the battle starts, but, um, well, on the campaign before even the battle's thought about, presumably. But um, uh, what I'm thinking is that, that, that is that about that uh, little sort of arrow, double arrow type thing that comes above all the, um, the, the groups of units that can come on in reinforcements. So I can just sort of swizz things around to make sure that my, um, uh, that, that my gun was the one that came on first, you know, my howitzer and that group, and then after that the horse came along, you know, which I thought would be pretty handy for um, chasing the enemy off if it came to a, a quick chase. Right. Cadence marching, excellent. Now that's the one that's going to be really, really handy for my mortars, like I said before. I don't think I want wedge though. Might end up getting it though, you know. What's this one here? 14, it's a long way off that. 13 on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, maybe I'll have to have wedge. I don't really don't see any value in it because I don't really use my horse to charge other people's horse directly. Well, it's very rare anyway. Um, hmm, can't get anything in there anyway. Maybe wedge formation is what I'm going to get. That's going to take 8, so... 11, 18 or 16, whatever it was. Do I get the Light Infantry Doctrine? What will this give me? Um. Grenadiers, light dragoons, line infantry. It'll give me machined rifling. Ah, now. Hmm. Uh, other than that, it doesn't really give me anything, does it? Household cavalry I can already get, I think. With... I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, oh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, hang on. I, I can already get this, can't I? So that's not an issue for me. It's this one, isn't it? It's the Light Infantry Doctrine. It just gets me Light Infantry. Um, and leads to platoon firing. Now, platoon firing is rather nice. Uh, but that's 14 away. No, I'm going to go for the um, triangular formation. Wedge formation, they call it, don't they? See how we go. Trait gained. Uh, trait gained. What's this one? Recruitment report. Du -du 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 Excellent. Let's hope the Amelia ones can get on into position. Does it look like anybody can come and get me? Um, actually, shouldn't they? No, maybe they couldn't move last turn. Okay, I bet you those mortars can catch up with the infantry now, you know? No, they can't. Not quite. <laughs> Pretty close, though. Not too far away at all there. I wonder... Do I now bring these into position? No, I'm not going to. What I'm going to do... How many has he got in here? Not bad. 
I'm going to cover this gap so nobody gets through to attack my uh, my mortars. If I put them there, they'll cover the gap. And him there. Right. Good. That should stop anybody, definitely stop anybody getting through. And the mortars will have a cr clear run of things then, won't they? So, okay, bring the mortars over. I really want the mortars over here. Okay, well, they're going up the road anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? And the horse from here. Two horse. Ah, that's may that may be why you put them in the Dardanelles. Maybe by putting it there, it covered that area there and stopped my reinforcements from coming on. Hmm, sneaky. Uh, do I use ships? Well, I don't think I do, to be honest with you, you know. I really don't. They would go quicker. But since I don't own this port, I don't think so. I'm just going to move them through. Let's just check that they will go through this way, though, first. Yeah, they will. Okay. Over into there. Um, just cease the movement from there. Um, I'll determine where they're going to go afterwards. Recruitment report, construction report. Wow, brilliant. How much am I getting next turn now? Oh dear. <laughs> it's because I've recruited all these troops, so I'm not getting quite as many as I'd like to have got, but I have got 7,911 to play with at the moment, which is a decent amount of income. Come on, uh, mortars. I really want him to come and attack me. So what I should do is, is reduce the number of people in this garrison. I should perhaps put another fort there and defend both ports next to one another in order to prevent anybody getting through there. It's tempting, isn't it, actually? Maybe if the forts were separate, he'd be tempted to do that. Um, hmm. Having said that, if he puts a big force through the middle of there, they're not big, are they? But if he did manage to get a big force through there, remember there's a gap here. That. Yeah, he'd still he'd be exposed to everything though, wouldn't he? From here, here, here. I th do you know? I know it's going to cost a load of money for this fort, but there is a strong argument for building another fort there, just while I get everybody together. Might just tempt him to attack as well. That's what I need, really. I need him to attack and exhaust himself on me. I'm not going to do it, though. No, nope. I'm going to sabotage that, or try. Successful mission. Excellent. Oh, that's what we want to see. Now, that should be a pretty big hit as well on that. Uh, yep, pretty bad. Now, let's see what that's done. Oh, he's on 11. Maybe it doesn't show until next turn. Hmm, hmm. Maybe not till next turn, but anyway, uh, we'll see what happens. I'll leave my other spy down there. I might just hang on to my 7,900 and blah de blah now. Um, because, I don't know, some more infantry. Just to add to this attack, to add to that horse as well. I think just a couple. Um, then we've got some more. Basically, I'm working on another army. So that's um, two infantry, two horse on their way, so that's four. Another four in there, that's eight. Um, they're not going to be in one army, by the way. Eight, so that's ten, twelve, thirteen. Plus these, oh, it's, it's what, twenty-two, isn't it? Plus the full twenty that I've got in here. So I've actually got too many by raising those two um, infantry units. But having said that, some of these dragoons here are just there to settle the population when I take the place, aren't they? So, okay, do I now spend money on infrastructure? Um, it's tempting, isn't it? Now that could be a commercial basin, but I don't want it to be. Uh, that could be upgraded to a seminary, but I don't need it to be. Um, I should really just have a look around these places and decide what I want to do with them all, shouldn't I? I think I'll get this, because I haven't got one in this part of the world, have I? So I think it's going to be a good idea to get one of those. OK, we'll go for that. And... Uh, infrastructure in here? I think not. I've probably got some new towns coming along as well, you know, some new places like the other port in Wallachia. Uh, that's Moldavia actually, isn't it? Uh, where's Wallachia? In fact, I bet Wallachia hasn't got decent roads either, has it? Right, a five, that's... Uh, what's that? 16 turns, the look of it. Well, let's improve the infrastructure in here as well, Valachia, because that is the capital. It's important the speed at which things come to it. I'm really surprised, though, that that... Uh, oh, 
maybe that should be upgraded. Well, it will be soon. But I, I'm really surprised that um, there isn't more... Oh, where, where are they going? They're coming through this way, aren't they? Uh, where's my main port? I think it's probably here, isn't it? 1,300 and something. And... What's this one? I haven't got one through there anyway. I have. That's 2,000 something, so perhaps this one needs to be upgraded as well then. Ah, oh, I can't afford it now. Didn't realise I'd spent quite so much money. Let's have a quick whack through and see if I can get some building done. Some church somewhere or whatever. Um, uh, I'm going to do this on the keys. It's quicker. There was one, a church. I think it was Vienna or Venice or... I think it's Vienna. Come on, where are you? I should have just gone straight to Vienna because I'm sure I've seen it somewhere. Um, it just seemed like a normal church as well, actually. Okay, just a few more. And if not, I'm going to go straight to Vienna and see if I can find that church. No, can't find it. Let's have a look in Vienna. Probably find that the church costs too much now because it's not really a church anyway, it's a cathedral. That that was it, wasn't it? Yep, could have saved myself all that bother just by doing that, couldn't I? But okay, um nothing else to do. Nobody to replenish because um I didn't lose anybody then. And I think I'm already Yeah, they're already full, aren't they, from previous times. Uh how are we doing with religion now? We're still coming up, but we're only at 40. Um, anyway, heading in the right direction. Okay, let's go for it then. Probably find loads and loads of things happen now. We usually do, don't we, actually? Maybe that's, maybe that's something I need to learn, actually. When you play for half an hour... Do you know, I just noticed, by the way, I've just put my microphone in a different position, and suddenly it, it, I'm getting loads of echo. So I don't think my microphone has been in quite the right position up until now, but maybe I need to speak just a little bit quieter um, or I'm going to be blowing your head off what time is it now? 5 to 11 at night hmm, ok uh, Russia have been very good friends somebody, I think it was Boniak, who said the Poles are um, very very good friends as long as you're good to them or whatever or loyal, or whatever, or trustworthy. Uh, well, that's certainly um, borne itself out, hasn't it? Oh no! Oh no! Damn! Damn! Look! Why didn't I build that other fort up there? It would have prevented him from coming through and it would have given me um, a situation whereby um, he would have more than likely attacked my fort um, and I'd have worn him down. Why didn't I do that? I knew it was going to be an issue. Damn! Um, they've hit this one again. This is, what, 140 last time? 170 this time? Maybe it was 170 last time. I don't know. Anyway, do I repair that? Yes, I'm going to repair that because it's worth some decent money, that. Now, here he is. A full army. Damn! Um, and these. Can I reach him with my mortars? Must be able to. Yeah. Easily. Ah, but do I want my mortars to be up there fighting him all on their own? I don't think I do. In fact, I know I don't. Right, okay. Um, he's going to come on as reinforcements. Uh what are those guys going to do if I attack him? Well, they're not going to stand around, are they, and let me get away with it, so... Let's see if they can get anywhere near. No. They might come on as reinforcements. Can these get there? No. Uh, I could put a fort in there. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? I think what I have to do is strip out this garrison here, if you can call it a garrison. Well, it is a garrison, isn't it, because that's a fort. So, I'm going to have to take those out of there. And I'm actually going to have to attack with the mortars. Um, 
Huh. What have I got in here? They could probably actually join the mortars. Okay. What am I up to now? I'm up to 40 minutes, so it's too long anyway. Let's go through all of these. I think on the next video I'm going to need to attack him, and uh, it's going to be an attack from here with these five, plus these four, making nine. The horse may be coming on as reinforcements, but these here making, what, another eight? So, what's that, 17 is it? Seven? Probably about 17. And then split these forces here between here and here. And I, uh, yeah, so I've got them both covered. I think that is going to be the only way to do it, and then attack with the mortars from here, so that I drive the enemy back that way. Damn, why didn't I split and put a fort up there when I thought about it at the time? How stupid was that? Right, okay, let's have a look in here. I'll move those a bit closer. He's got a decent army in there. He's on eight. Why didn't he gain more bad effects from that? He should have had a minus from there, I would have thought. But he hasn't, so let's not moan about it. Um, look at that there, what's that? Wow, looks good, doesn't it? 21, 15, 16, 12. Uh, Rajput Zaminder Heavy Cavalry. And of course, his generals will have uh, elephants, won't they? So, hmm. Right, okay. It's going to be a little bit of thinking time. It, I mean, one possibility is just to let him advance towards me. You know, because obviously he wants Ankara, doesn't he? Um, if I leave it with few troops in there, he might just try and attack it. No, it doesn't make sense. Okay, right, recruitment report. Uh, very good. Enemy raid. We know about that one. That's the one I repaired. No, I didn't repair it. Yes, I did repair it. <laughs> okay, building constructed. Ah, thank you very much. That's Moldavia. Great, we've avoided the trade unions. No, I'm not going to build tarred roads yet. <laughs> we'll wait for the next threat of um, uh, trade unions or whatever. Right, okay, plus movement range for ships. Enhanced national prestige. I'm going to go for that. Uh, yeah, it's going to take a while, but th these are the kind of things I, I think. I'm just going to let it follow itself now. Okay, enemy raid and enemy raid. Right, okay, well, I'm up to 42, almost 43 minutes now. It's going to take a decent amount of time for me to make up this video, and it's gone 11 o'clock anyway, so it'll be done by just after 12 o'clock, from which point I can start to upload it, so by 5 o'clock in the morning, um, and that's um, Greenwich Mean Time, that's British time, then um, you, you should be able to see it. So, all those Americans just waking up in the morning um, should be able to see it. Um, in fact, not just waking up in the morning, what am I talking about? They're just, just becoming home from work. Work, I presume, should or school should then be able to see it, shouldn't they? Okay, anyway, thanks again for watching, folks.